Well, good morning, everyone. Take your Bibles to Luke chapter number 11, verse number 13 for promise number 224. Promise number 224 is this, that God promises he will gladly give the, the Holy Spirit to anyone who asks of him. Now, think about this. Out of all the things God would promise to give, his Holy Spirit is by far the best. Now, uh, don't misunderstand. I'm not saying that it's better than being saved. The Holy Spirit of God is the best thing he can give to a believer. It's the very best thing. We may be tempted to uh, tempted to or hope that healing or deliverance would come and that that would be better, but the Holy Spirit is infinitely more valuable uh, than even healing or deliverance. The Holy Spirit of God is the guarantee of our salvation. Without the Spirit, we are none of His. As we begin to allow the Spirit uh, to fill us, we receive the strength and insight we need to accomplish all the other promises and to do His will. And so listen to the verse as he's talking about it. He, he tells us in verse number 13, he says, If ye then being evil, talking about us, and know how to give good gifts to our own children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask of him? Notice how he said that, good gifts. Talking about these great gifts that we give to our own children. We give them exactly what they need. How much more our heavenly Father, and then he just says, gives us the Holy Spirit if we'll ask for it. Now think about this, there's, there's, there's phases here. When we receive Christ as our Savior, we are sealed. We are given uh, the guarantee of our salvation, the Holy Spirit of God. But when we ask the Lord to fill us with his Spirit, he gives us the, 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 the deeper, better relationship with him through his Spirit. Think about this, this promise of the Spirit helps us see life from God's perspective. Think about that to live in a way that pleases God. Uh, I think that a lot of times we get caught up in trying to live in a way that pleases us. But what we really should be trying to do is live in a way that pleases God. Um, I'm amazed at how many people believe they're giving God their all when God is really just a side note in their lives uh, because they don't swear, because they remember every once in a while to thank God for his provision or because maybe every once in a while they, they have time to go to church that they feel like they're living in a way that pleases God. But but truthfully speaking, most of those people, if anything goes wrong, they're trying to question God, like, why why me? What happened to me? Why, why do I have to go through this? The promise of the Holy Spirit is to help keep us on track. Uh, the promise of the Holy Spirit guiding us and directing us is so that we can accomplish God's will, not our own will, God's will. And so listen to this, everything we need to do what God saved us to do is contained and hinges on the Spirit of God, which is the gift to all who truly believe. And it's our job to yield to his Spirit and enjoy the results. And so that's the promise. I mean, aside from being saved from our sins and having eternity with God, the very best thing he can give to us for the life that we're supposed to live here on earth is the Holy Spirit. It's what empowers being the, the gifts of the Spirit. It's what causes the fruit of the Spirit to grow. And so think about all those things that we want to accomplish for the Lord. It all hinges on the promise that if we will simply ask Jesus to be our Savior, he'll give us the Spirit. If we will yield to the Spirit, we'll begin to see the results. Let this incredible promise of the, the Holy Spirit of God fuel your day. Hope that helps. Enjoy a great day.